Hey guys, it's Alex Panda here, back with another Clash Royale video, and today, we are going to be doing just some clan battles with random people. Now, there have been some issues with, uh, this was a couple months ago, issues with what happened earlier, so, um, yeah, we're not going to get into that. This YouTube channel is mainly just for fun. If you come here looking to have a good time, or if you want to just see a bunch of Clash Royale videos where 11-year-old kids just like, Hey, yo, let's play Clash Royale. I'm going to do that. But today, sorry for saying we were going to do 2v2. We are actually going to jump into some Ramp Up Challenge. Now, I tried this challenge earlier, and I got six wins, so we're going to try to get two wins in this video, and if we do, please smash that like button down below. If we can get to five likes in the next 24 hours, I will post a second video tomorrow on this channel. So let's get right into it as he places down a very, very offensive wizard, and a world giant. We're going to worry about the world giant a little more than the wizard here. Because that does a lot of damage when left alone. See, like, the wizard's already knocked out. And now we're going to put a Dark Prince and Bats down. Get a really good defensive put, Get a really good counter push going. The Dark Prince is going to hit the Balmer. And that's going to be a tower. I have a good feeling that's a tower right there. Yes, it is. What a play. Alrighty. Could we get a 3 crown here, actually? Let's play this smart here. I think we are. I think we're going to get a 3 crown here. Yes, we will. Let's say good game. Well played. As we beat him before we even had to get into two times elixir. Now, how the ramp up challenge works is every minute you go from one elixir to double elixir to triple elixir. And I'm trying now, like, every time a new challenge comes out, if I get a bowler out of that project, every time a new challenge comes out, I'll try to make a video. If I'm just trying, like, See if anything else comes out. I'll make a video about it. Comment down below if you want me to do anything different. Down like in the and then yeah. So we're gonna get into this second battle here. Hopefully we can win this. And so um uh, let's see what he does first. I always unless he doesn't put anything down, but he does put down the tombstone. So we're gonna put down double prints, and they're both gonna go off of the tower. Which is good, which can be good if played well. And he puts down the Inferno Dragon. So, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna let that Inferno Dragon tower. Yes, okay, that's exactly that worked out really well. Get a shot off Baby Dragon. Okay, that's what I needed. So, sometimes it can get harder in these challenges depending on how often you play them. Sometimes it's really easy to just breeze through, get the maximum amount of wins in like four tries. This is one of the challenges where it's kind of, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. Because, especially with the deck I'm using, there's not a whole lot of defense in it. This is a mainly offensive deck. So that's why you won't see me play a whole lot of defense in this deck. It'll just be attack, attack, attack. Like this, I'm already getting up there pretty high amounts of damage on the board. And I think we may lose this one, actually. It doesn't look too good. But a very well-placed baby dragon will probably win us the Mau. The Lava Hound Balloon on the other side takes us down. That means we are one and one. I will try to win two battles, so let's jump right in. I think I do want to make a one change to my deck. Instead of bats, slip in a minion horde. Just because heavy elixir, we will upgrade that minion horde with all the coins that I have. I'm going to upgrade it to level 9, and we can almost get that minion horde to level 10. So let's try to get a couple more wins here in this challenge, and then you can go on and do what you're doing. So, we're going to go, I think we want to start off with a P.E.K.K.A. And then go from there. That's exactly what we want to do. The person I'm going against puts down a 
very, very, very well placed. Very, very well placed. And I think for the Valkyrie, we want to put down the Minion Horde just to see what we're going up against. Just to see. This is honestly, I usually use a Minion Horde to test. And he rockets everything out. So, I had a good push. And then it got rocketed to shreds. But the P.E.K.K.A. will get to the tower. Can we get another shot off? Can we actually take the tower? And we will take that right side tower out with one push. So, things are looking good on the channel. I'm on the road to 20 subscribers. So, if you can, help out the cause. Get us to 20 subscribers. Videos will come often. And that's not good. That is not very good. I'm trying to get some videos out. It's just been really hard with school and everything else going on. Stuff happens. Everything else happens. I'm sorry that, you know, we're trying to get out videos here left, right, and center. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes your internet's out. Sometimes everything else just is going against you right now. So, all in all, I'd say this channel could get to 20 subscribers by today. If we're lucky, if we can get to 20 subscribers today, and I can check that, I will post another video tonight. And that is a deal, and that is a promise that I can, I can follow up on that promise. And we're going to place that down to get rid of the Inferno Tower, and now he's got a big, good push going, and we just absolutely shut down whatever he had any momentum and now we have a really big push coming on on the left side and we're going to take that tower too as it looks and bye bye left side tower 30 seconds left it looks as if that the princess just did absolutely nothing to help his cause and this batch is over so here's what i am going to do we're going to in this video right here and if you haven't already hit the like button hit that subscribe button comment down below if you want me to do anything else whatsoever and i will see you in the next